What's up guys, welcome back to another Trail Makers video and today I'm going to be teaching you guys something that isn't very well known in the Trail Makers community and that is remote control cars or remote control vehicles. Uh, pretty much you can make anything you want, any build you want in this game remote control using a simple logic system that's implemented with two seats. Now I'm not sure if this is like an official thing that Trail Makers uh, intended. I think it's a glitch, but not really, because uh, it's using um, a detachable block and some XOR gates to uh, trick the seat into thinking you're driving in that seat, if that makes sense. But without further ado, let's get straight into the tutorial. Alright guys, what you want to do is grab yourself a platform or a few blocks make yourself a platform I'm gonna use these two by two by twos and just do that to make a nice platform for me to sit on also I'm gonna grab a chair you can use any seat you want uh, it doesn't matter what seat this works with any seat so uh, I'm gonna try the armored seat there we go and then you want to grab a detachable block so that is your first half of your build which is your controller. This is what you're going to be using to remote control uh, your car. Alright, now you want to build a vehicle of some kind. It doesn't matter what vehicle, um, I'm just going to go for a simple car for demonstration purposes. Take some blocks here and uh, give it some wheels. Any wheels I'm going to go for, let's go with the classic off-road wheels. Grab yourself some hinges, oh, there we go, put the hinges in place, awesome, and uh, have a basic shape of a car here. Now for this glitch to work you need a second seat, so let me grab a go-kart seat and an engine to obviously make the car move. Once you've got something like this, you can go ahead and grab your first logic gate which is the X or logic gate now to be honest I only know it working with this gate I don't know if it works with the other gates but it makes sense why the X or gate works because it cuts off signals so if the signal if the X or gate gets two inputs it will not go through if it gets one input or the other then it will work so what you want to do you want to grab one X X or gate configure it and the first thing you want to do is connect it to your engine and go down to your keybinds here set the keybinds to what you want for your car to go forward and backwards if that makes sense so here I'm using RT and LT standard controls for Xbox to drive make sure it's again make sure it's connected to this engine piece alright grab yourself another X or gate Connect it to your build and configure. This time, you want to connect it to your hinges. And there's only two things on this car that need to be controlled. It's the forward and backwards acceleration and your left and right steering. So then again, you want to just do the controls that you would use to steer. And that should be it. So let me remind you guys Take your engine, take your hinges if you're making a car and uh, add your X or gates and make sure they have the same controls as the hinges if that makes sense as the, the, the main pieces. So this is connected to the engine and this is connected to the hinges. And we go for your test run. There you go, there is an RC car. It's fully working, I can turn left and right, the engine's working. <laughs> Isn't that weird? So also, another thing I need to explain is um, your remote control seat needs to be your first seat. That's why I always build the remote control uh, first before the car. But for example, if you were to build a car and you wanted to turn it into a remote control car and you wanted to add the remote control just make sure this seat isn't the first seat that's placed this seat has to be the first one and if it doesn't work if you find it doesn't work for example if I do this delete that seat 
put that seat there. Now this seat is the first one, the main seat. So if I have to detach, nothing works. I'm going left, I'm going right, you can see my character, nothing's working. If I hold X here, back into the build menu, make this seat the second seat. So what you can do is just duplicate your seat, delete the previous seat, put your new one down. Now this is now the new seat. So this is the first seat, it's the new seat. It has to be the new seat on the build and you have your main seat on the as the controller for this to work. So I was only explaining this because um, a lot of people have taught uh, how to build remote control cars uh, had problems similar to this where you literally just the seat uh, having the problem with uh, which seat is the main seat and there we go that is the RC car and off it goes it's really peculiar uh, what you can do is maybe make a raised platform for a better view because uh, once this thing goes out of your eyesight it's pretty hard to control but uh, this thing has a limited range because it's not like a, a real remote control car it's, uh, it has unlimited range and you can make anything you want with this honestly you can make if you can think it you can make it remote control I've made battle bots battleships I've made it I've made it all if you can think it you can make it now you're probably wondering um, what will happen if I add something else so for example if I wanted to give this thing a cannon put the cannon on there so now is the builds on so when I press a it doesn't fire it's not firing because I haven't added a logic gate. All I need to do to fix this problem is again grab myself an XOR gate, configure it to A or whatever button you want to set. I'm going to actually do RB, connect it to the main weapon, and hey presto, it should work fantastically. There we go. So anytime you add something that needs to be controlled or requires a keybind to control, uh, just make sure you add an extra gate and then you can make your remote control build. Hopefully I was clear enough in explaining this, uh, this tutorial. Let me just show you guys some examples what builds you can do. Alright now we're here at the water, let me grab one of my remote control boats. So as you can see, the remote control, main vehicle, this vehicle has a chair inside and here's the logic gates controlling everything I need on the boat. What I can do, just detach and there we go, a remote control boat that can fire. I might be using this uh, in a future video so uh, stay tuned for, for that, a battleships, remote control battleships if you want to see something like that. Uh, here's, a, here's a little thing I've come up with is a remote control car. The blue one is the remote control car. I am in my own car. So I could effectively control two builds at the same time. It's really, it's weird to do, but I can control two builds. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's an odd one, but um, you guys can come up with as many things as you want. I recommend doing uh, a car first and <laughs> get the ropes of the uh, technique and understand how to actually make remote control builds and uh, you should be set. Also here's a fun little tip if you detach your car move forward and set your remote control car on the transform you can set another build in and detach and for some reason this glitch allows you to control two cars at the same time or as many as you want in fact I can spawn in another <laughs> you can have as many remote control cars as you want and you can control them all it's crazy so I'll be interested to see what you guys come up with in the uh, workshop in the gallery uh, hopefully this was clear for you guys and I hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it subscribe and leave a like and stay tuned for more Trailmakers content and I might be doing some Sea of Thieves content soon too.